People are gullible, believe in anything so long as you package it correctly, say it loud and often enough, and come across as being authoritative. This is the essence of political, economic and religious fundamentalism, the oxygen of populism and the root of the violence and xenophobia that plagues our era. Consider the xenophobia we see today. The root cause is economic, fear that foreigners will steal our jobs. This notion is flawed. The changed nature of the economy and the inability of millions to enter the new economy is the real reason. Driving out immigrants will not change this. States that fail to educate their people fail economically. Are leaders ignorant or are they driven by greed or corruption not to do this? Do some leaders promote, encourage or fail to react against xenophobia because hatred fueled by ignorance distracts the masses from the real issues? Fundamentalist religions offer escapism, magical solutions and the promise of otherworldly salvation, which is unhelpful. Instead of giving spiritual strength to confront the challenges of the present world, it offers distraction, a form of entertainment. Instead of giving us the skill to live with complexity and ask questions in this world, it gives simplistic answers packaged in the promise of escape from the world. At worst, it is also a means of enrichment for its leaders, who offer salvation in exchange for cash. When religion further sets up a model of the saved versus the damned, it creates a mentality of xenophobia that feeds into the dominant public mentality. The great philosopher Immanuel Kant proclaimed, dare to think, this is difficult. As if we do, we find ourselves questioning deeply held but poorly formulated beliefs. The more we actually think, the more we realize we have to think again and again. The more we act on our thinking, the more we realize we have to act again. This can be dangerous, as Jesus discovered when challenging the dominant assumptions two millennia ago. This Lent, dare we consider thinking more critically about our world? Or should we stick to giving up sweets?